Hey, 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 welcome to another episode of Restorations. And today we're going to do a cutting board, but not your average size cutting board. Uh, I got a customer came in, he asked, can you make me a cutting board? Of course I can make you a cutting board. He said, well, can you make it 24 by 24? Two foot by two foot. Out of this pretty piece of cherry right behind me. Y'all ready for this journey? Let's get to it.
All right, now that we got this cutting board planed and 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 joined together um, to make this nice big surface, uh, we do have the issue of this little crack here in the wood. Now I can leave there as a natural crack, and uh, but I don't want to do that. I'm gonna mix some epoxy, and we're gonna push that down into the crack. I've already taped it underneath, and I've taped it here. And we're gonna push that down into the crack and so that it'll fill that in. And being that this is cherry, and we're gonna to try to keep that natural cherry look, I chose this uh, scarlet um, pigment to go into the mix, and then we're gonna push that in there, and I think it's gonna come out oh so special. So, let's get to it. Okay, we're getting ready to do start our sanding process on this now that we've got our, our epoxy has, has hardened. And so we're gonna start with a 60 grit sand just to get that the rough edges off. And then we're gonna do uh, move to 120, then a 240, then a 320. And this bad boy is gonna be almost ready to go. So y'all ready for this? Let's keep it going.
All right, we are nearing completion of this cutting board and it's looking really good. We've already applied our walrus oil to the bottom and now we're gonna apply it to the top. Then we're gonna allow that to sit in between 12 and 24 hours. We're gonna come and wipe the excess off and then uh, we apply a second coat to the top and then we're gonna come back behind it and put some walrus uh, wood wax on it to really seal this in and uh, this red bad boy will be ready for the customer. So, let's keep it trucking. Well, we've come to the end of this project now and we've applied our two coats of wars oil and we've allowed it to soak in and we dried it off and I don't know about you, but uh, I'm liking the patterns in this wood. Um, it's a strange little pattern in this side and a different pattern on this side and uh, I think, but everything is looking really good. We got our, our juice grooves in. And uh, so now it's time to do the final step here and then we're gonna apply a coating of uh, wood wax, uh, from Wars Oil Wood Wax on here. And then we're gonna buff it to a nice shine and then uh, it'll be ready for the customer. So, you ready for this? Let's get to it. Well, I think this cutting board came out great. Um, I love the, the contrast in the wood patterns, even though it's from the same slab 
and how this is seen to be a more of a cleaner uh, wood grain pattern, where this one seems to have some blotching in it based on the wood. So that gives this whole board a contrast and some character, which I kind of really like. Uh, we got our juice screws cut in, and we have our handles cut in for to be able to pick it up. And you can't even barely tell that we put epoxy resin in this board. It just blended in so well. Um, we put stops on the bottom so that when they're cutting and they're on the flat surface, this unit won't move back and forth um, so they can have some stability when they're doing their cuts. And all in all, I think this is going to be a great cutting board for our client. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode of Restoration. If you like what you saw, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the alert button uh, so that you'll be notified when we put out new videos. Oh, and with all that said, again, peace.